August the 12th, 2020. Big heat wave outside. Very, very hot. Mayor snoozing, relaxing. And I'm going to do a card reading. So I'd like you to think of um, numbers one, two, or three. Take a few moments to just focus on one of the numbers, which one you feel drawn to. And let's see what they say. So card one is be yourself. So if you feel drawn to card one, this card is saying to you to be your authentic, true self. When I look at this card, um, in the past, I've always seen it as a card that says you are a very spiritual person, but you're very grounded. But what comes through very strongly today is that sense of light. You're having to use your power and your strength. You're kind of like turning in a different direction. All around you, um, things... <clears throat> it's like everyone's going in one direction. And you're like, no, that is not the way I want to go. I doesn't feel right for me. I've got to follow my heart. I've got to follow my truths. I've got to follow my power, um, my inner knowing. So it feels like you're going now into the opposite direction. So as everyone's going down the one um, path, you're going the complete opposite path. And you tried and tried and tried to kind of like fit in try to understand where they're coming from but it just doesn't feel right now and it's almost like the universe has gone alleluia and this magnificent beautiful powerful powerful horse is now saying we've been waiting for you to make this step forward you've got to be true to yourself you've got to be true to you um, and that's what's really really important now so making that decision to kind of like be true to you is going to empower you be beyond anything you ever realise. And if it's felt like you've been oh, lost in the middle of, of a forest and not sure about things, things are going to start to become clearer. If things have felt like they've come to a standstill and stopped, things are going to start picking up again. But very slowly, I think with the, if we look at the weather, the heat wave, the intensity, it's kind of like making a stop, not do anything too energetic, not make any major moves. But use this time, because things are really going to start to pick up for you, but use this time just to replenish, to restore, and, um, and know that everything is now going to enable you to be your true self. So if you feel drawn to card number two, this card is the assertive card. Um, assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. Um, the tree. The tree is full of wisdom. The tree is full of power. And it sees you stepping out. So a little bit like the butterfly. Um, when it merges as the butterfly. This is very similar to you now. It's very peculiar actually, because if you look at the cards, number one is about being yourself, being your true authentic self. Number two is being assertive, isn't it, Maya? Being assertive, yeah. So often we kind of like just really you know, be quiet and 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 be afraid to show our, our colours, our hearts, our, our truth, in case the world rejects us or our friends don't understand us. And I feel like you've grown. I feel like you've really grown this this year seeing you like just just go within understanding yourself more it's, it feels like you've been doing some learning or studying or understanding things because that's what it feels like it feels like you've used this time maybe not even knowingly
but you've really used this time to kind of like, you've just gone step after step. And then all of a sudden now, you're feeling confident. And you don't know where that confidence has come, but that confidence has come from, from within you. And and you and you kind of like know now, you, you, you kind of like really truly know, and, and you got the answers. So th this is a very powerful time for you. If you've been drawn to number two, this is a very powerful time because it just shows me and it shows the world that you, you, oh, I can't find the right words to, to say, but you just know you're stronger, you're clearer, and you're ready now. You're ready for that next move. You, you're ready for that stepping into your power. You're ready. You just, you're just ready. So, um, gosh, let's watch the space and see you just blossom even more. Because it's not like you're, you've made your mind up. You go right. That's it. You you've just grown, and each step unfolds for you, and you're stronger. Beautiful to see. And then finally, number three, number three. Um, your wish is granted. What you've asked for is coming true. Um, this is really lovely because, you know, sometimes we put our wishes and our thoughts out there into the universe and like nothing kind of like happens, um, but your wishes are coming true. And the other thing I wanted to just mention with this card number three, as I'm looking at it, the, 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 the idea came into my mind. Um, I've been listening to a woman called Pat McCabe, I think that's how you pronounce her surname, but my pronunciation is not the greatest. And um, it's not just her, it's, it's a, um, a lot of them speak about it. Um, but what is very powerful to do, what I want to suggest to you and what thought came to me, um, and if my daughter's listening to this, I can, I can just see her face because when I told her about it, she just like, oh, mum. Um, but I love her sense of humour. But anyway, you get a beautiful glass. Um, say, for example, I know this has got lavender. But you would fill this um, jar or glass or whatever. You, it contains the water. Fill it with water. And because water holds memories, um, and water can be empowered and everything like that, Hold the glass in your hand and um, really from your heart, because it comes from your heart, not, not from our heads, from your heart, allow your heart to pour into the water all that your heart wants to say, all the things that your heart knows that you need um, that is going to bring love and serenity into your life because that's the one thing I always think we should ask for is love and serenity um, because if we've got that we've got everything but yeah hold, hold the water obviously in the, in the glass etc um, allow your heart to pour into the glass into the water I should say everything that you desire everything you need and if there's things troubling you um, and you ask for the answers, ask for support, ask for clarity, pour that into, into the water. And then, and then what you can do, if you live near the sea or you live near, near a river, you can pour it into to there. But um, outside in our garden, we've got a bird bath and I pour it into the bird bath because the bird bath is circular. And the birds can come and sip that water and take those wishes, desires and dreams far, far away or the sun evaporates and those water goes up into the clouds and the cloud travels and then those desires and dreams and wishes of yours reach the places and the people that are going to help you to get to where you are, where you need to be. 
So yeah, if you're drawn to card free, or even if you listen to all of the cards, try it. It's it's amazing actually, absolutely amazing. I was wanting to reply to an email. I'd have sent out some questions, and I really wanted clarity. And and I know the person was extremely busy, so I'm like, patience, Jen, just be patient. And then I did I did that. I poured some glass, some water into a glass. I said, oh, can I just receive um, an email from this person? Pulled the water out into the garden. Lo and behold, within half an hour, she emailed me with, oh, so much information. So yeah, it works. So yeah, if you're drawn to card number three, your wish is granted. But if if there's nothing you've asked for, but there's lots of things you ask for, do try, do try this water technique. And then the other thing we can do with the water, which is really lovely, is send love um, and and gratitude. Oh, I don't like the word gratitude. Love and replenish. That's what I've been also doing into the world. Replenishing and love and healing. So, what do you recommend? Do you think this has helped everyone or have I just sent you to sleep? Mm, probably. Mushka. Oh, hello. Hello, darling girl. Right, well, have a magical day. And uh, hopefully see you again soon. And please do share. And I also want to announce that I finally set up Zoom. So I've got my first reading on soon tomorrow um and i'll post how it goes um hopefully fingers crossed it goes really well anyway take care for now bye